aid and support from Western countries, and there seems to be a change happening in the United States where the, the next bit of legislation to get some key U.S. aid is stuck in Congress. How concerned are you about uh, what appears to be a, a shift, a change in attitudes in the U.S. House of Representatives on this? I stay optimistic and have an opportunity to speak with the uh, senators and congressmen, bipartisan. They are full of decisiveness to uh, vote and support of Ukraine and to continue this support. And with that situation, we do not accept that the considerably small group of the populist can uh, ruin the bipartisan support, a vast majority of the American people and American Congress. That's why I'm optimistic. But I cannot accept that the ocean of the global support of Ukraine can narrow to the river and then to the stream and this bring to their total defeat of the world. Because again, we fighting not only for our sovereignty and territorial integrity, we fighting for their freedom, for democracy and assisting Ukraine, all the free world, all the NATO member states, investing in your own security, investing in your own uh, military defense industry. And with that situation, there is no gray zone. This is like on bicycle. You can either go or fall. And this is impossible to be to stay in the middle because you can either together with Putin and take responsibility on Bucha crimes, on Mariupol crimes, on the dozens of thousands of Ukrainian civilians which Putin killed, or to be on the uh, light side on democracy and freedom and do your best to bring us to our common victory, because that would not be just a victory for Ukraine, that would be the victory of the whole free world. And I am no doubt that united by values, people in US, in Canada, in Europe, in the whole world, definitely do their best to bring us to this victory. Ukraine, in any case, pays, pays the biggest price for that, the lives of mm -hmm. our soldiers, the lives of our people.